नमस्कार आई एम संजय कुमार प्रधान स्पीकिंग ऑन चाइना स्टेट एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रैक्टिसेस इन अफ्रीका ए क्रिटिकल रिफ्लेक्शन चाइना इज वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट स्टेट एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट पार्टनर्स इन अफ्रीका विथ इज टोटल वॉल्यूम ऑफ वन हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी एट बिलियन डॉलर इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड ट्रेड इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन देर आर टू पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू मैन डिस्क्राइब यर फर्स्ट इज वाई द अफ्रीकन कंट्रीज गो फॉर चाइनीज सपोर्ट फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट देर आर सम इश्यूज एंड कंट्रोवर्सीज विद द पॉलिसीज एंड प्रोग्राम्स ऑफ आई एम एफ एंड वर्ल्ड बैंक एंड वाशिंगटन कंसेंसस सो दैट दो दैट सम ऑफ द कंट्रीज ऑफ अफ्रीका गो फॉर चाइनीज चाइनीज इकोनॉमिक एसिस्टेंस सिंस चाइना इज एन अल्टरनेटिव मॉडल फॉर देम सेकेंड पॉइंट वाइल गिविंग पोलिटिक वाइल गिविंग द वाइल गिविंग इकोनॉमिक एसिस्टेंस द इंटरनेशनल एजेंसीज और कंट्रीज कम आउट विथ पोलिटिकल प्री कंडीशंस दैट इज डेमोक्रेसी दैट इनक्लूड्स फ्री एंड फेयर इलेक्शंस स्टेबिलिटी इन द गवर्नमेंट रेस्पेक्ट टू द सिविल सोसाइटी एंड एंड ऑल अदर अदर नॉर्म्स ऑफ लिबरल डेमोक्रेसी बट फॉर चाइना ट्रेड इज प्योरली बिजनेस इट इज नथिंग टू डू विथ पॉलिटिक्स थर्ड पॉइंट सिंस सम ऑफ द कंट्रीज देर आर इश्यूज ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी एंड वायलेंस सो दैट मेनी ऑफ द कंपनीज और कंट्रीज हेजिटेंट टू इन्वेस्ट देयर इन दैट जंक्चर चाइना टेक द फास्ट मोवर एडवांटेज एंड फोर्थ पॉइंट दैट विथ रिगार्ड टू द पॉलिसी एग्जीक्यूशन चाइनीज एप्रोच इज वेरी फास्ट देन दैट ऑफ अदर कंट्रीज इन्वेस्टिंग इन अफ्रीका देर पॉलिसी इज जेनरली सीन इट इज टाइम बाउंड एंड दे हैव द रेकॉर्ड ऑफ अर्ली एजुकेशन ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स सो अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस द अफ्रीकन पेट्रोनेज वाट आर द क्रिटिसिजम साइटेड अगेंस्ट द चाइनीज ट्रेड एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रैक्टिसेज फर्स्ट पॉइंट टू पॉइंट आई वुड लाइक टू से वन इज इकोनॉमिक पॉइंट एंड अदर इज पॉलिटिकल पॉइंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज देर आर क्रिटिसिजम्स against chinese practices on the counts of unemployment dumping closure of small scale industries unethical trade practices in the form of non uh, non adherence to labor laws and environmental norms do uh, some of the examples i would like to say that uh, in the Kampala uh, Kampala uh, in Uganda the Kampala Trade Association protested against the Chinese trade and practices on the counts of uh, uh, dumping anti dumping practices and uh, the unemployment problems so their protest was geared on these two counts dumping and unemployment practices which are largely due to Chinese trade and investment in uh, the country and it was also found in the in zambia there was a landmine blast and the investigation revealed that china had uh, invested substandard infrastructures in the mines so that the blast occurred and this is not only this uh, there are uh, this is not only the civil society protest or uh, the epol economic issues the political leaders also have expressed their dissatisfaction the best example is can i can say thabo mbeki the former president of south africa who once said that the outside investment must take care the employment opportunities and real development of the continent and this was also repeated by one of the former presidents of the african union with second point as i have said that political counts uh, in past as well as in present many african countries who are non democratic in character got the so political support of china in the international platforms when these countries were isolated by the international community then china came to the to follow up came forward to provide economic assistance as i discussed and uh, politically it helped the leaders in the uh, helped 
uh, it is supported the politically it is supported the leaders in the continent by helping them in the united platform united nations platform because china is a permanent member in the security council and it has veto power so the recent two most recent two examples i can cite here when the un tried to isolate harare government the former president of uh, um, mozambique sorry former president of zimbabwe robert mugabe as well as uh, all bashir government in undivided south sudan these two governments when the international community put their best effort to isolate them china came to the forefront uh, and uh, it helped them out through the un platform by exercising its veto power and its status and exercising its status of permanent member of security council so finally i would like to say chinese trade and economic practices are largely different if compared to other international economic players in the continent so their practices trade and investment practices are different because of many counts since they are a socialist country and uh, their definition of democracy is in non congruence to that of the liberal democracy definitely liberal democracy norms so and uh, this is the different approach style they are following a vishavis the other economic players in the continent and that in some counts in past as well as at present we have seen on some counts there have been adherence to chinese model but at the same times there have been criticisms against trade and investment practices in the continent thank you